Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make one of the mother sauces, which is bechamel sauce. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. And as always, enjoy it. Bechamel sauce is one of the mother sauces. From this sauce you can make any gratin, some soups, very often it is used for lasagna, a base for French Mornay sauce, and of course a base for mac and cheese. Take a saucepan and melt 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter. First of all we need to make white roux. It should be smooth, moist, with glossy shin, not dry or greasy. It should look like sand at low tide. Add 4 tablespoons of flour and make sure to constantly stir the roux to prevent it from scorching. And continue to cook it for 2 minutes. Make sure not to cook it longer, otherwise it will start to change the color. But for bechamel sauce you need the white roux, so the sauce will be white. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty and delicious videos. Add two and a half cups of room temperature milk. Remove the milk from the fridge 30 to 45 minutes before starting to cook. Make sure not to add hot milk into the roux because it won't cook properly. Once you pour the milk, you need to constantly whisk it to work out any lumps. Bring the sauce to a boil, reduce the heat to low, and let it simmer until the sauce is thickened. Make sure to constantly stir it. Now it's time to season the bechamel sauce. Grate some fresh nutmeg. Season it with freshly ground white pepper. For this sauce I do not recommend to use black pepper. Add some salt. Whisk it. and strain the sauce. And my basic bechamel sauce is ready. If you want to make cherry cheese sauce, return bechamel sauce back on the stove, add shredded cherry cheese and melt it. If you want to make Mornay sauce, add grated Gruyere and Parmesan cheese, melt it and add little butter at the end. If you want to make cream sauce, add some heavy cream and simmer for 3 to 4 minutes. Be creative with the bechamel sauce and enjoy this beautiful recipe.